What is up, guys? We are back at the hangar today. I'm in the cockpit of the plane, but I'm not going to fly it right now. I haven't flown it at all myself. My dad has flown it a couple times. I'm going to get a video up soon of one of the flights. Um, but anyways, a couple weeks, no, like a couple months ago now, um, I filmed a video of like a short walk around, and it blew up. It's crazy how well it did. It got like 50,000 views at the moment, which is just wild, unbelievable. I mean, yeah, that's, it's just crazy um, to think. So... Oh, you can see me. Um, but I did get some complaints that I, the cinematography wasn't great. I moved around too fast. So we're filming this to improve. Now, I will say I had some excuses. You know, I was, I was in a rush. I was excited, you know, to show this thing off. And I had low battery, so I had to film it fast. But still, um, this video is here to try to improve. So hopefully this one's better. Um, let's walk around slowly. Let's get to the front. Kawasaki 440. All right, here it is from out front. Um, as you can see, it has a very light, nice and long wingspan. You can see your tractor over there as well, and the storage shed. As a uh, um, now, let's make our way around. You can see a good view of the engine. I'll go do some more close-ups in a second. Um, and you can see the cockpit. We got some like. Just fun decorations. Takamo. Uh, when my dad was in the Navy, he flew for Takamo. Ferry Conron 4. Um, and the motor, sorry, engine is a Kawasaki 440. You can see, I think the carburetor, I believe. Um, we move back here. The back of the wings. So it's a good air bike 103. Uh, you have the ailerons here. From the back, you can see some more details. You got um, landing gear fuel tank it's all full right now and the emergency parachute that parachute oh, we'll go in closer but it deploys <clears throat> when it deploys it's for the entire plane it's like in case the engine goes out you know no way to really land um here we got the back uh, the tail surfaces uh, the rudder and the elevator i believe or something um 768 nc not really sure the meaning of that i mean we're in nc here's our eaa um, designation number. Another view. Mind the pillar. <clears throat> you see the back of the wings here, too. Um, and here's the other side. Um, so let's... Oh, you know what? That big black thing might be, uh, that might actually be the, uh, exhaust. And I I'm not really sure. I haven't studied up. So let's walk up. Let's get up closer. We got the Kawasaki 440 in all its glory. This is a modified motorcycle engine, uh, or it's like a two-stroke engine. It's made for motorcycles and stuff, but she's a lot of use uh, being um, modified and then used in uh, ultralights like this this one right here. Um, now, what I probably should have said this. This is a for anyone new here. This is a a uh, ultralight air bike. Um, this was originally designed can't remember now but it's been acquired the plans for it have been acquired by lake jordan aero uh and they sell plans and actually they sell plans for it and they sell it as a kit um and it's part of part one of three this particular one they also sell uh, a two-seater which isn't but this one is part of the faa's part 103 which is like an aero air bike no sorry ultralight ruling that for one thing, means you don't need a pilot's license to fly. There's a lot less regulations than compared to a normal plane like the big old Cessna over there that hasn't ever hasn't been used in a while, I believe. It's kind of been sitting sitting there, kind of abandoned. But yeah, um, see more parts uh, here with the uh, parachute I was talking about. Um, and if you look up here, you pull this, right? You know, you have this removed before flight. And then in case of a very rare emergency, and usually if your engine goes out, you can probably glide down to another field, uh, especially over here, kind of in the countryside. But if you're like in a heavily wooded area, it's harder to land. So the parachute might come into use. Um, got a nice seat. I think this we made ourselves. Um, use all the stuff up front, you know instruments um got the stick of course which controls the ailerons and the 
elevator type, uh, and then you have the foot pedals, which control the rudder and the tail wheel. Um, some new additions, actually. Uh, there's only a few. We have these uh, wing checking ports. Um, they're not important, not as important as something in something like a Cessna, where you need them to like check fuel. This is just to check the inside of the wings. They're doing pretty well. Um, I'm not gonna take them out. I'm not sure how to take them out, but there's a way. Here, this is a newly installed mirror. This is to check the fuel, right? You're sitting in the cockpit. Now you can look over and you can see uh, how much fuel is in there. And then there's a GoPro mounted right there. So you can see, or you can film it and review that a couple times. So again, I will upload very soon. You know, been, actually, I'm not sure why I delayed. I might upload that like a day, or I might even upload this today with this video. Um, but I think there you really have it. Um, I, I think I covered pretty much everything. So yes, that is our air bike. Um, very cool. Um, you know, eventually I'm going to fly it myself, but you know, a bit young for that. Um, haven't drove and yet driven yet, but that's soon coming soon too. It's crazy. So, um, yeah, there we have, oh my, sorry, bad filming. Um, there we have the air bike.